to show you my weird way of making a pretty big bow for your cake. I have Tylo's powder mixed into my marshmallow fondant. This is going to help it hold its shape. I'm rolling my fondant out really thin. You can see how thin it is. Cutting it in half and then cutting it in half again. So I have two pieces. I'm aligning one on top of the other and I'm cutting straight edges down the sides. And then I want to peel it back so it doesn't stick together. And then I'm starting down on one side, curve up, and then come down on the other side. And I don't want it to stick together, so I'm gonna lift it up and then put it back down. And then do the same thing on the bottom, cutting a curved edge. And I want to go to my cake. And that looks like it's a little too big, so let's realign them back on top and then cut it just a little bit smaller. Now I'm smoothing my cuts with my fingers, get a little bit of water down, close it, and then go up and down and get a little bit of water in the center. And I'm doing the same thing for the other side. Now I want to cut little pieces there in the center so they sit flat together. Now I need to cut the tail, so I'm cutting a piece out of that fondant. It's a little too thick, so I aligned it on top of the fondant to get two of the same size pieces. Cut one down on an angle, cut the other one on an angle. And then I'm doing the same thing. So I'm gonna fold it down and then up and then get a little bit of water in between. And I'm putting that one underneath. And then this one is going on the top. Get a little bit of water down. And now I want to just cut straight edges again so they'll sit together flat. And now I'm cutting the little center piece. So I'm folding the edges down to get a nice edge and then getting a little bit of water underneath and get water behind the entire thing put half of the bow on one side, half of the bow on the other, get a little bit of water in the middle, and then I'm wrapping it up, and then lift the bow up and flip it over and wrap it down and stick that together. Put it on a small cutting board, and I'm getting a paper towel, I fold it in half, and then roll it up and stick it in either side of the bow. Go into my cake, how do I want this on here? This looks good, I like to have it on an angle. Get a little bit of water or piping gel behind the piece that's sticking to the cake, and then I'm just finding where it's sticking to the cake and getting a little bit of water or piping gel underneath. And I gotta pull that paper towel out. I have it in the right position now so it doesn't need the paper towel to hold its shape. You can leave them there if you would like. And I'm just working it to get it into the right position and curling up the edges to give it a little motion. And there is your cool bow. Here is the finished cake. And make sure you follow or subscribe for more cake decorating tips.